Hey, Blockchain Visionaries, it's George Levy. In this video, I'm gonna take you through the process of sending some of my Bitcoins from the device where I'm recording this video to a different wallet somewhere else. Many people don't understand that. Are my Bitcoins really in the device where I'm recording from? And where exactly are they now? In this video, I'm gonna take you through the process and how you can check for yourself. Get ready to change the world, one blockchain at a time, with George Levy. Your single source of truth for blockchain, Bitcoin, and cryptocurrency. Okay, so we're back at the One Blockchain Studios, and now I'm going to take you inside the mobile device that I used to record that segment. As a matter of fact, I used this mobile device, and it's the same mobile device that I actually sent my Bitcoins from. Key things I want to show you is right now I'm going to take you inside the Bitcoin wallet that I used, and I have a record of that transaction. The best part about it, I actually have a record of all these transactions, but specifically the latest transaction that I wanted to show you was this specific transaction, and you will see that it's actually 0.00031367 Bitcoins that I actually sent. Now, key things I want to point out to you is that notice that I was able to verify for myself that this transaction actually took place. That's why I'm wearing this shirt that says, do not trust, always verify. Very different from when you're dealing with a bank where you have to check if the check cleared, right? So with Bitcoin, you don't have to. You can check for yourself on a block explorer. It's exactly what I'm gonna do right now, but I'm gonna teach you a lesson in the process. So what you'll see, and I'm gonna look inside my mobile device first and show you, uh, you'll see that the value that I had when I sent this was actually $15.75. And you'll find that it shows me the from address for which I sent them from and the to address. The from address is my Bitcoin address, which is the Bitcoin address that I'm going to be sending from, from my mobile wallet. There's more of a lesson to that too. And the to address is the address that I'm going to send it to. So now I'm going to take you, I can take you to a blockchain explorer here, but I won't. I'm going to take you to a big block explorer so you can get the full screen because the Bitcoins were never here. The Bitcoins were records on the blockchain. And that's the key lesson for today. The Bitcoins never live inside your mobile device. What you have in your mobile device, or in this case, this mobile device, is I have a Bitcoin wallet, and that Bitcoin wallet has the private keys corresponding to unspent transaction outputs. That is, Bitcoins that I have received in previous transactions, which I haven't spent yet. And my Bitcoin wallet has a record of those, but I also have the private keys to be able to create new transactions and spend those Bitcoins. So now I take you to the big block explorer, and it's the same exact uh, transaction we talked about. As you can see, the total is 0.00031367 Bitcoins. And what you will find is that in this specific case, when I sent it to, I sent it from the from address to the to address. You'll notice also that this amount here is less than this amount over here. And the reason is that this has a transaction fee associated with it, which went to the miners that actually sent this through. So even though I sent 0.00031367 Bitcoins, I only received in this other address, which I happen to own as well, I only received 0.00030788 Bitcoins because the difference was actually spent as a transaction fee for the miners that included this transaction on the block. Now, key things I wanna show you here is that I have the full details for this transaction here. And what you will find is I have the record of the inputs that is where those Bitcoins came from. And this specific transaction was based on transactions of Bitcoins that they had sent me before. As a result, the input for this transaction is actually from my own Bitcoin address, which had received some Bitcoins in the past. And then the output is the Bitcoin address that I'm sending it to. Now you're starting to see how Bitcoin transactions are assembled. They're assembled of inputs, which is where the Bitcoins come from, and outputs where those Bitcoins are headed but they never actually were in my mobile device. And that's the lesson for today. All of the Bitcoins that exist on the Bitcoin network exist on what are known as unspent transaction outputs out on the blockchain recorded. And then whoever has different Bitcoin wallets has the private keys corresponding to the unspent transaction outputs that they have in their own Bitcoin wallets. So whenever I wanna send some Bitcoins, they're never really here or in any Bitcoin wallet on any device. They're actually records stored on the Bitcoin blockchain for which I have the private keys to be able to, be great, to create new transactions that I send to other people. I hope you found this lesson valuable. That's what all of Bitcoin is all about. It's about having all these unspent transaction outputs recorded permanently and immutably on the Bitcoin blockchain, which you can verify for yourself 
and you can send at any moment if you have the right private keys for it. And that's what we're doing, changing the world one blockchain at a time. I hope you found this video valuable. If you have any questions, please leave them below. I answer all my comments and I would love to hear from you. Also, if you haven't subscribed to this channel, just hit subscribe and hit the bell. I publish brand new videos every single week and I look forward to seeing you in future videos. And as I always say, we're changing the world one blockchain at a time.